So friends, they call this the Levitt Shell now at Overton Park. Back in the 50s, this was called the Overton Park Shell. And this, friends, is the site of none other than what some legend has called the very first rock and roll song, rock and roll show ever played. July the 30th, 1954, this is where Elvis's first paid performance was. He got paid to play right here and legend has it that he was so nervous that his leg began to shake and the fans went crazy. And the rest is history, friends. The Levitt Shell, right there. Elvis played here the very first time he got paid to play and sing. This is the side of it. And you can see they're still playing music here today. They're setting up for a show. But this is where they say the very first rock show happened. Right here, friends. So friends, you're going to find this hard to believe. He was actually opening for Slim Whitman. And this is from the newspaper at that time. And if you notice, they spelled his name wrong, Ellis, instead of Elvis. This was backstage that night, the very first show he got paid to do at the Shell. And this right here is Elvis with a young man that turned out to be a guy named Jerry Turner, who was actually a police officer that guarded Elvis's body during his time of his funeral. And this is Elvis the very next year backstage, and he was becoming somewhat of a star by this time, as you can imagine. So this was it, friends. This is the stage, and that's what it looked like looking out. Probably looked a little different back then, but still close. How you guys doing? So I searched pretty hard and was unable to find any photos of Elvis actually on the stage here other than backstage. I was able to find some stuff, but it happened right there at the Levitt Shell. He played there the first time in 1954 and the second time in 1955, the only two times. So friends, if you want to see the Levitt Shell for yourself, come to the corner of Museum Drive and Mommy Moss Lane and the shell is right 